All right, welcome back everyone. We're gonna learn something kind of different, kind of related to fractions, but just taking a little bit differently. So to start us off here, I got a little picture here and on a bird watching expedition in Kaloya Park in Lake Country, BC, April spotted six cardinals and three pine warblers sitting in a tree. Now, here's some ways April compared the birds she saw. The number of cardinals compared to the number of pine warblers was six cardinals to three pine warblers. The number of cardinals compared to the number of birds was six cardinals to nine birds. April also could have compared the birds using fractions. Now, if it was you, if you were April, what fraction of the birds were cardinals and what fraction of the birds were pine warblers? So to start us off here, we're going to we're going to talk about something and I'm going to use again animals. So I'm going to use some rabbits. So let's say Jimmy has four brown rabbits and five white rabbits. And we're going to talk about something called ratios. And a ratio is a comparison of two quantities with the same unit. And we can use ratios to compare the number of white and brown rabbits. So for example, the ratio of white rabbits to brown rabbits is five to four. And we write a ratio of five to four with a colon and you can see that five colon four. The ratio of brown rabbits to white rabbits though is four to five and we write that as four colon five. And we call these, both of the, the, the brown to white and the white to brown as part to part ratios. The numbers four and five are the terms of the ratio and the order that they're written is important because four to five and five to four are in fact different, okay? We can also use ratios to compare the parts to the whole. So for example, the brown rabbits to all the rabbits is four to nine or four colon nine or four over nine like a fraction. Okay, and we can see that. So I have one, two, three, four brown rabbits to all the nine there, okay? And we call this a part to whole ratio. Now white rabbits to all the rabbits, five to nine or five colon nine or five over nine. And again, this is a part to whole ratio. Um, but when we have a ratio that compares a part of a set to the whole, just like a part to whole ratio, we can write it as a fraction. We can't do the part to part as a fraction, but we can do the part to the whole as a fraction. When we read a ratio like four over nine, we say four to nine. And I'm just gonna get you to try this. I want you to write a ratio two ways and compare it two ways. And we're gonna assume that a cherry uh, is one, one bunch of, there is uh is one. All right, so what we can do here is, let's count the bananas. I have one, two, three, four, five bananas. And I could compare that bananas to cherries. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So bananas to cherries is five to seven. I could compare the cherries to bananas and that'd be seven to five. Okay, I could also, that's a, those are part to part ratios. I could also do um, part to whole. So if I can compare bananas to the whole, I have five bananas. I can write that as five to, and how many are all together? Well, there's five bananas and seven cherries. So there's 12 fruit all together. So five to 12. If I want to compare the cherries to all the fruit, I can write that as seven to 12. And again, remember, we can do part to wholes as fractions. So I could also say that this is this, 5 to 12. And I could also say that this equals this. So that's really it. We're just comparing um, using ratios. And then there's a little bit of connection to fractions here. And we're going to explore that more in the next lesson there. So as you can see, in life, math happens. Take care, guys.